Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today you're going to have a rare occasion that uh, I'm going to do something. I'm going to do a project for a friend. She have a vehicle that's similar to my wife, which is a two, uh, Honda HRV. See, the, the my wife model is 2016. I don't know what uh, a Sherry, rambling with Sherry vehicle, what year it is, but it's a uh, similar vehicle. So let's check it out. vehicle look like it is a two-door but it's not a two-door it's actually a four-door see how that handle is hidden right there so let's check out what it look like from the inside all right well I already spoiled the fun but this is one of the features of this vehicle is this sheet in the front here the passenger one will fold out flat like this so there is a possibility of making a, a slipping area if you designed, you know, to if you wish to do so. So I already measured the width from here to here is 22 inches. So the plan is to build a platform, not really a platform, just a piece of wood that will go all the way to the front there. And let me measure how far it is from here to there. All right, I'll bring you back once I got the measurement. I already measured from here, pretty much all the way to the back over there. It's 65 inches so if you have five foot five this will be, work perfectly for you anybody under five foot five will work perfect even for five foot eight i don't sleep straight i sleep uh, in a fetal position so it would work too so yeah you can see there's space here so what we do we're going to have some container right here under the, the platform and maybe another container or whatever you can probably stack clothes whatever you want under here to level it out. That way the, the piece of wood on top will stay flat. And the plan is I'm gonna make it foldable in the middle. So that way you can kind of put it away in the back of the trunk over here. Let me show you what the trunk looks. See, see how big this trunk is? So I will attempt to make the width from here to here fit in here that way that platform will sit in here in storage mode when you don't use it all right see under the seat over here once you come down there's tons of room down here for you to for storage also this have a magic seat which will go up so see how that is so you still have storage under the seat see how the, this well all under here is storage in this area so that is the plan we're gonna do is build a flat platform on top with the seat the back seat fold out here then you will have a suit and then you can do other thing over there like I said, it's always important to have a seat that you can go in and out and then hop into your bed. And of course, with this, you can have a little, uh, my, uh, this area will probably fit my, uh, let me show you, let me show you. Ta-da! My milk crate toilet slash trash can will fit in that area also. So if you don't use it, you can always put it right there. And if you need to put that seat, you move that on top of your bad platform that you have that area or you can push forward your seat at night time so you have more room over there all right let's uh let's go make this pla this platform here all right all right so what do you do when you bought a piece of four by eight at home depot and you're gonna have them cut to the side that you need but the saw is broken so I'm gonna do it myself, I guess. So notice how I have so many yellow lights, right? That one, at first I was gonna cut from there to here, but there is a little boo-boo over there. So I'm gonna try to save this end for another project. See how big this little square rectangle is? So, by the way, make sure, measure twice and cut once. So I measure 
I, I go switch, right? Oh, but was I wrong? It was supposed to be five feet five, but in my head, I was measuring 55 inches. Nope, it's 65 inches. So I missed almost a foot. So measure twice, cut once. Go from there to here is 65 inches, which is equivalent to five feet five. All right, let's let's go cut this thing. So it's gonna be mighty dusty. So your phone, my phone on, and yeah, my phone. Also, I have my shoe on just in case. So I have a two by four, four of them under the plywood. And I already make sure it will cut the half inch flat wood and then the that way it will not hit the ground. Also let's go check on the other side. Notice I have four of these under there to support the board while I'm cutting. You can see there's a line that goes straight down. Just right at the edge of this. Make sure it's close enough to support the cut. All right, let's go do the cutting on this thing. So I'm dry fitting this thing 
It's this piece, this big piece is 42 inches. However, this piece is a little bit too long. So I made it, it was supposed to be 55, but it's not. So let's see how long it is. So it's actually, the total length is about five feet total. Yeah, I thought I got 55, but I didn't, so. All right, let's see how it's gonna work out. So right now, I gotta do some trimming to do. So I got two choices. I'm gonna make either this piece here shorter to here because yeah you can see it, it is support by the edge right there and on that end it is support by the handle over there but we're gonna I already put some stuff under here see you got a little bit of this See how this gonna fit in here? It might hit the handle. Yeah, it's gonna hit the handle. So if you lift this high enough, close the door. And this should rest on this. Right? That's why I want to cover this in copper so it doesn't scratch the interior of the vehicle. All right, let's figure this out. All right, this is the 2018 Honda Fit. Let's see how it fit into the inside, right? Same scenario. Even though I measured 55 before, I mean five, five feet five, but it's not 65 inches. But it's turned out to be a little bit extra. And you can see this line is from the HRV. So we lose about one Honda Fit. Actually, have an extra inch or so, almost two inch right here compared to the HRV. So don't let the size of the vehicle fool you. See, this actually fit better than the, the HRV. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this line and then I'm going to cover it. So I'm going to show you what else I can do with this. Instead of in the front right here, that right now you only get about five feet of uh, platform in the front like this. Okay, by the way, look. Tons of storage. So you can either have a, a leg here or have a, some kind of container over here for storage and then you support your, your platform. So I'm going to connect this to this through a, a little, uh, look at all the storage. You could have all kinds of storage under here and then the inside. So you're gonna have storage under here. You can put more storage in here for support. You could put a piece of wood to support this end. Because there's support right in the middle. So you don't need a whole lot of support going on. So you put a piece of wood, probably two by, I say two by three or two by four. And this is more storage for you. Stuff in whatever you want here. All right, let's see how it fit in the back. So the back of the HRV is almost the same as uh, this. When you fold the seat down, you have that little hump. So when you're sleeping, that will bother you. So I moved that big piece back here and the little piece. So you either put it on this side or this side. Let's, let's see how it look on the side here. So you can see how extra that is. You might want to see how it will hit, hit that center console. So you might have to do a little notch on the P 
piece there to make it longer. You can move that over here, but then I would rather leave that over there because you have access to the seat over here and your bed over there. All right. All right, all right. It's time to carpet this thing. Even though I haven't cut this yet, but I'm kind of dry fit them right now to see how much area I can cover. I got to maximize my cover, right? So I should have enough. This is a six by eight uh, piece of carpet. It costs about $25. So I'm gonna have to try to get the maximum amount of this uh, piece of carpet. This this is called an airy rug, so there you go. So I'm gonna cover that piece. That piece I will not cut. So I'm gonna try to give a lot, as much room as I can on the, the, the edge. And then this one, should I cut that piece, I will cover it too, same way. So maximize my cut. All right. All right. One more note I need to let you know. See how this side have no line? That side have line? That's a rough side. So what you want to do is put that face down because you want a smooth side on the bottom. Okay, I'm not going to cover it because I'm going to have it like this. Going over this, the edge. Then stable it together. Yeah, I'm going to staple it. Then leave it like this as it is. If you want to, you can paint this or whatever you want. Or you, if you want, you can use the whole carpet. But I'm not going to waste that. I like to keep this. That way I can use this uh, for cooking surface if needed to. So I was trying to stable it with this uh, type of uh, stable gun. But it's not powerful enough. So I kind of have to upgrade it to this. Air. I mean air nail gun and it use a half inch stable this is a half inch board so half inch with copper it didn't go through at all so i already fill it out so the next step is to cut this so i draw a line to make sure i have a good straight line cut all right i'm going to cut it and i'm going to stable it, and i'm going to bring you back for the final product all right all right all right so this is my first time doing carpet covering. So this is what it look like once you're done. When you finish stable, make sure there's nothing sticking. Kind of lightly run your hand over the edge. And then make sure nothing is poking. And that should be good. It's not the best job I ever done, but not bad for first time doing uh, carpet covering. See how much different it looks compared to just wood. So this is a smooth surface. So it, you can either paint this or cover it up with another sheet of fabric or something that will make really nice. So I guess you can uh, kind of hot glue this at the edge and really make it really nice. So I don't know, maybe I have some kind of uh, plastic sheet or something I will use it because I want to use this as a, a cooking platform also. So I want to be something that, you know, water resistant, you know, spill resistant. We see how that works. But right now, my main goal is to create a, a sleeping first, nice sleeping surface. Even with our, uh, the foam, you can just lay on this already. See, there's a little bit of stuff. So I'm going to have to back up this a little bit. So I'm going to finish up this side over here, that piece. So I have to cut that and then cover it up. All right, I'll bring you back when I'm So, are you ready to see the final product? Even though this is workable, it's not my prefer preferable method. So let's take a look. Ta-da! Yeah, so here we are. Finally finished. Look pretty neat. Even though it's a little bit slanted, but that's okay. So, how long is this platform? And the problem I don't like this is you have to figure a way to support down here. Right now, I just have a tissue box. So you have to find some kind of container that will fit under here to support this uh, platform. And then you have to stuff more stuff in here to support this end. See how it is. I decided not to hook up uh, any kind of attachment or, or thing, just that way it's easier to flip it around, right? Let's go in front and take a look under the this side. And again, 
Over here, you have to have some kind of container. This one will work. So if you have a lower uh, container, that will work. So you got tons of storage here, here. Your platform is up here. So the, the only plus with this, you can leave it like this for the whole time without having to move stuff because you still have room to sit over there, right? It's always have to have a, a lounging area over there. So that way you can have a, your little party party over there. Let me show you. Uh, well, actually, I don't have to because that seat will flip up. I'm not sure it's going to flip up with this because see how big this is 60, 40. So it might not flip up. See, that's why I do not like this setup. Okay, what you can do is uh, remove this piece, put it up here, flip the seat up, and put the toilet in. So it's not very feasible, you know. All right, let's take a look at uh, different. Oh, it's total 61 inches. So if you five foot one or less, that will work for you to be sleeping. This is your back platform right here. Comfortable, nice, clean looking, without a lot of whole build to do. So I personally prefer this method because, see, that's why, if you wonder why I didn't leave the whole uh, 61 inches of platform, right? How else are you going to be able to store in the back over here? So that's why I cut them into two pieces. Easy to store back here. You always have your bed platform in the back at all times. And it's, you can convert it in no time. All you have to do is flip these two seats down. I'm going to show you uh, how, how it looks like. I, I, so that way you don't have to waste time watching me doing the work. All right. All right. So all I have to do is flip that seat, this side, the 60% side, down. Push the front seat forward a little bit. Just tilt the, the front seat forward. And then I'm going to set up uh, the platform and let you take a look see what see how this thing kind of lumpy up a little bit yeah and fun to try to sleep with that your back will be hit right there so that's why you need a, pla a flat platform to sleep comfortable at night all right i'll bring you back once i set it up all right this is my preferred method and you can see i put the seat the driver's seat forward just a little bit more and then now it will flat the only problem we have with this is look so there is no support under there. So all you have to do is put a couple of towel or something under here, then it will level with the piece. But the main thing is your head and your back will be straight right here. Because your butt will be pretty much all on top of this too. But if you have this level, then you're always flat the whole surface the whole time. But the important thing about this is you have a lounging area right here at all times. And if you need to use the bathroom with your portable toilet, right? Flip this up, put your toilet here and do your business right here. And your bed is undisturbed at nighttime. So that's why I prefer this method. It's quicker, easy to set up, and you still have a full passenger seat in the front for carrying passenger or whatever you want to carry in the front here. The only bad side, you have to move your driver's seat forward a little bit. It's only worked this way because of the 60-40. I wish they had the 60 on this side. Then we would leave the 40 over there down all the time. But it's very important ever to go in and out the vehicle and then get into your bed. That way, see, I'm going to go in, sit here, and then uh, I just step into my bed over there. And go to sleep. When I get up, just come over here, get ready, dress up, whatever. Because I'm lounging over here. Right? Yes, I really like this setup. This should work for the HRV also. The HRV actually have a little bit more room inside. And it still have that issue when you fold the sheet out, it will have that little weird lump. So that's why I build this platform just enough for my head and my back. And my butt is on the flat surface. That way, when I'm sleeping, I have a good sleep at night. So let's take a look. See, right now, all I have to do is slide this back. And you can see, then I just, I can just move that seat forward and then uh, get out of here, you know? I mean, you, you don't have to do much to reconvert your 
bed into a driving mode. When you're ready to sleep, just push it forward and set it up for the night. See, I do all this from the inside here. See right now? Yeah. And you still have tons of storage in the back. You have storage up here for storage. You have storage in the back, way in here. I'm not sure you can see anything in there. There you go. Hey, so even though it seems like it's a long video, but because I make it a really, really nice piece, so you don't have to be intimidated by that. You know, you, you can make it as simple as you want by just cutting the piece of uh, that uh, wood for 22 by 61, right? That's the total final length. It's one piece and just throw in your vehicle and call it a day, right? Or you can cut it into two pieces, but you have to make sure that the longer piece will uh, measure from your head down to below your butt. That way you have comfortable uh, platform to sleep on. And whatever the other small size will be, will be, you know. Or you can uh, make it nice, put cover carpet uh, like I did. So the total cost for this project is approximately about not even $25. But because I bought, uh, you know, a 6x8 uh, area carpet and a 4x8 uh, ply, uh, plywood total cost and some 2x4 because I am going to do another project and cost me total 65 so I barely use one third of that material so so I my guesstimate is about $25 all right thanks for watching I will catch you on the next video bye for now